The prospect of tougher and tighter lockdown regulations as ministers warn of further restrictions, one police chief confirms rule breakers are increasingly likely to be fined. Boris Johnson is criticised for going cycling in East London at the weekend. Downing Street insists it wasn't a breach of the restrictions. Good morning. A tougher stance on masks when you're out shopping. Morrisons and Sainsbury's are stepping up enforcement amid more reports of staff facing abuse. A row over the poor quality of food parcels sent to children in lockdown who'd normally get free school meals. The children's minister says she's urgently looking into those claims. Good morning. There's lots to look forward to in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Non-league Chorley get a home tie against Premier League Wolves and Liverpool will play Manchester United. Two women who were given £200 penalty notices for allegedly breaching lockdown rules by meeting for a walk more than five miles from their homes have had their fines cancelled. Derbyshire Police also issued an apology to Jessica Allen and Eliza Moore after a review of the case. We're going to have a look at the papers. Oh, go on then. No, you go first. All right then. Um, <laughs> let's start with The Times. The Times leads with a promise from Britain's most senior police officer, that's Cressida Dick, who says anyone caught ignoring lockdown rules will be challenged and fined. The paper says police officers are now stopping people on the street and asking them to explain why they are outside. Uh, the mirror goes with Prime Minister Boris Johnson's a bike ride, saying it's caused confusion about rules. Um, he was seen riding around the Olympic Park in East London, which is seven miles from Downing Street. Uh, comments made by Professor Chris Whitty on this programme yesterday uh, make the front page of the Metro. England's chief medical officer was here for about 20 minutes, wasn't he, yesterday? He told us that lockdown measures could get tougher if people do not properly observe those restrictions. Uh, we'll be talking about all of that uh, later. Also, Financial Times highlights how supermarkets in Northern Ireland are struggling to fill the shelves because of post-Brexit trading delays. Anyway, um, we're talking Nina, about face masks we, yes, going out this in, morning. In supermarkets as well. Yeah, because yeah. you've probably noticed when you go on your big shop, and more people are doing a big shop at the moment for obvious reasons, uh, there are the signs saying that face masks are mandatory, but you've probably also seen some people aren't necessarily wearing one. Uh, good morning. It has been the law since the middle of last year that you have to wear a face mask if you're out shopping, but you can expect tougher treatments from some supermarkets from this week. So Morrisons were the first to announce that they're putting security guards on store entrances to offer a face covering to every customer. If you decline, they won't let you in unless you have a medical exemption. Now, Sainsbury's also say they'll challenge customers to wear a mask and to shop on their own, and you can expect security guards there too. But unlike Morrison's, they say they can't deny entry to those who decide to break the rules. So whose responsibility is it? Well, the police can issue fines to people not following the law. It's £200 in England and £60 in the rest of the UK with repeat offenders facing bigger penalties.